And uh, you're very welcome again this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, what Seamus rightly said has become a traditional feature of uh, County Championship Day, the presentation of a team of uh, 25 years ago. Last year we had two great teams here, of course, St. Joseph's and St. Unan's, and I suppose it ref is reflected today in the fact that this St. Joseph's team were so dominant around that period that the 19... 70, they were the champions with a very comprehensive victory over Ross's Rovers in the county final that year, having beaten St. Unum's in the semi-final in a very exciting match that year in 1970, St. Unum's being the reigning champions. We're delighted to say that we're joined by many of that team, several of them are not able to make it here today, but they are represented by members of their family, and we're delighted to say that they're led today, in fact they were captained that year by Shimi Granahan, who's represented by his nephew David Smith here today, who will introduce uh, a little while later on. But the vice captain in that day, the man who played full forward, and I'm delighted to introduce the vice captain of the St. Joseph's County Champions in 1970 to lead them out today, Peter Quinn. Give Peter a nice round of applause. Stalwart with St. Joseph's during those great years. In goals for St. Joseph's and a man who of course played in goals for them in many of their championship winning teams and was a great servant to the St. Joseph's team during that period, also played inter-county football, goalkeeper was Alan Kane. Right corner back, another man who served St. Joseph's very, very well and uh, was a great club player for them during those years was Josie Boyle. Give Josie a nice round of applause. Great footballer. At fullback, a man who needs no introduction, a man who served them very well, played inter-county football as well. A tremendous footballer, a hard man to get round in those days. At fullback for the St. Joseph's team in 1970 was Ray Sheeran. Big Ray Sheeran and the full back line was made up by Father Liam McDaid. Give Father Liam a nice round of applause. Left corner back in 1970. At right half back, one of the most consistent club players during that particular period and indeed over many, many years, a man who also played inter-county football could play in defence or in the forward line, Thomas Quinn was at right half back in 1970. At centre half back, I said it last year, I say it again, needs no introduction to a football crowd here in Bal Buffet, or indeed I suppose anywhere around the world. An all star on his day, inter county star, player manager, and the man who led Donegal in 1992 to success, of course, at All Ireland level, fulfilling a lifetime ambition. But in 1970, he was at centre half back, Brian McAniff. <laughs> The great Brian McAniff. And making up the half-back line on that particular day, another very consistent footballer for St. Joseph's in that period, wearing number seven in 1970, was Huey McGowan. Looking fit and fresh today, even. Midfield. Peter Barry wore number eight on that particular day, and we're delighted to welcome Peter Barry, another consistent footballer for St. Joseph's during their great championship winning days. Welcome, Peter. 
His midfield partner on that day was the late Brendan McHugh, and we're delighted to say that Brendan is represented here today by his youngest son, Brian. Brian McHugh representing his father, Brendan. Welcome, Brian. The half-forward line, at right half-forward and team captain in 1970, another man who served in Joseph's very, very well for many years, and of course Donegal as well, one of the best forwards that the county have produced during any period of football, Shimmy Granahan, who is represented by his nephew, David Smith, today. You're welcome, David. Thank you for representing Shimmy. Centre half forward on that particular day, I think I introduced him as a full forward, or was it full back? Last year, when St. Joseph's were honoured, but he was centre-half forward on that particular day. Another one of Donegal's great footballers who played great county football for many years. Please welcome Parik McShay. <laughs> Rumour has it that Parik didn't finish the match that particular day. Slight disagreement with the referee, Parik? Can you confirm that for us, Parik? He's not going to confirm it. I'm sure you were right and he was wrong, Parry. Parry McShay. And making up the half-forward line, indeed a very impressive half-forward line of Shimmy Granahan, Parry McShay, was Martin Charney. Now, unfortunately, Martin cannot be with us today. He's otherwise engaged as manager of the Mayo under-21 football team who play in the replay of the All-Ireland final. But please show your appreciation for Martin Charney. In the full forward line was Billy Gavigan at right corner forward. Billy is represented today by his son. Is Billy here himself? Oh, he's here. I'm sorry, Billy. You got that young look and I thought you'd you sent your son instead. <laughs> Billy Gavigan played at right corner forward. Well, you can't blame me for mistaking him for a son, looking fit and fresh. Peter Quinn was full forward, of course, and vice captain, and we've already introduced Peter. And making up the full forward line again, one of Donegal's great corner forwards, great forwards indeed, and a man who played for many years for the county as well as for St. Joseph's, one of the top scorers in his day, the great Mickey McAloon. So that makes up the starting 15. Please show your appreciation for the starting 15 in 1970. The St. Joseph's team which beat Ross's Rovers. But we're delighted to say that uh, a number of members of the squad are still with us and uh, here today as well. Among the substitutes that day, first of all, Joe O'Neill, great servant of St. Joseph's. Welcome, Joe. Jerry McDermott was also a substitute on that particular day in 1970. Show your appreciation for Jerry, please. And another Jerry was among the substitutes, Jerry Gallagher. <laughs> among the substitutes also was Philip McAloon, who is represented by his nephew, Phil, today. Phil McAloon representing his uncle, Philip. <laughs> also among the substitutes, showing the strength of St. Joseph's football at that particular time, the great Declan O'Carroll, who played inter-county football, represented today by his son, Brian. Brian O'Carroll. Also among the substitutes, and I'm sure making a good noise from the substitutes bench, as he does from the sideline here at McCool Park, PJ Ferguson. I'm glad that A. Roo is not in the final today. Our heads won't be too sore up here in the press box. Owen Rowe O'Neill was also among the substitutes in 1970, and we're delighted to welcome Owen Rowe today. And the referee back in 1970, a man who refereed many great finals here at McCool Park, county finals from Tyrone, and I'm sure he'll be in Crow Park next Sunday. Show your appreciation for the one and only Patsy Devlin. So there you have them, ladies and gentlemen. 25 years ago today, they were the county champions. A very impressive victory over Ross's Rovers. The great St. Joseph's side of 1970. Please show your appreciation as they're led off the pitch. Thank you very much. Peter Quinn, Alan Kane, Josie Boyle, Ray Sheeran, Father Liam McDade, Thomas Quinn, Brian McNiff, Hugh McGowan, Peter Barry, 
Brian McHugh representing his father, Brendan. Jimmy Granahan represented by Davis, David Smith. Parik McShay, Martin Carney, Billy Gavigan, Mickey McAloon. Joe Neal, Jerry McDermott, Jerry Gallagher, Philip McAloon represented by his nephew Phil, Declan O'Carroll represented by his son Brian, PJ Ferguson, Owen Roe Neal, and the referee in 1970, Patsy Devlin. Thank you very much.